When it comes to stretching your paragraphs, you may have heard your teacher referring to petal paragraphs and maybe this acronym kind of confused you and even if your teacher explained it a little bit more it was still a little bit mystifying so what i wanted to do was just to create a really quick lesson illustrating what petal paragraph means and how you can apply it and the example i'm going to use is actually an inspector calls okay the play by jb Priestley. however do bear in mind that the example that I give, literally the petal paragraph and the words that are used can be substituted for any other example, indeed any other play, any other novel and also any other English language extract, okay? I'm only going to use Inspector Calls just as an example of how you can apply a petal paragraph to a sample past paper question, okay? So I've put the past paper question above here in the box, however, Always bear in mind that literally these examples, you can just substitute it, the keywords within these examples for something else, okay? Now, let's first go over the meaning of petal paragraph. Petal simply stands for point evidence technique analysis link, okay? So the P stands for point, the E stands for evidence, the T stands for technique, the A stands for analysis, and the L stands for link, okay? Now, as I've mentioned, I'm gonna give you an example and I'm gonna work you through how you can craft a really strong petal paragraph if, let's say, you were studying an inspector calls and this question came up. So let's say you've got this question. How does Priestley explore the importance of social class? Now, you will notice that I've underlined keywords within this question because they are exactly that, keywords. The stuff within the question that's the most important thing that you need to answer and you need to address, okay? So when you look at any question or any you know particular exam style question that you're presented with, always make sure you go straight for, okay, what does this question want me to really focus in on? And then you underline and highlight that because that's now how you're gonna start off your petal paragraph, okay? So as I mentioned, the keywords in this question is importance and social class. I have to absolutely address this within my paragraph. So let's start off with the point. Remember in the petal paragraph, point simply stands for answer the question, okay? So just address the question and answer it using words and using keywords from the question, okay? So you use those keywords to show the examiner or your teacher that, hey, look, I'm answering this question, okay? So let's go back to this example. You're being asked how Priestley, a playwright, shows the importance of social class. So I'm gonna read you through my opening point, okay? Priestley powerfully explores the importance of social class through the character of Mrs. Burling. She shows the divides that existed between the working classes and the upper classes. Pay attention to the wording that I have used. Because I've highlighted the importance of social class within the question, I've then mentioned how the importance of social class is revealed, okay? Don't feel like you're repeating yourself. Actually, examiners and teachers want to see that you're repeating yourself because it shows that you understand the question, okay? So, open your point by answering the question, addressing it directly, and then using the keywords, okay? So that's my opening point. Now, Evidence simply means quote from the text. How do, you, how do you know from the text that this is the case, okay? In this case, I'm just using a quote that memorized. Sometimes you'll have an extract in front of you. You just pick out the quotation and then use that, okay? And if you can, try to embed your quotation, make it flow nicely, okay? So now let's look at my evidence. This is evidence when she refers to speech marks, girls of that class, close speech marks, okay? So this is evidenced, that's supposed to have a D, when she refers to girls of that class, okay? So as you can see here, I have quoted from the passage or the text, okay? So the play from my memory. Now that's my evidence, I've used a quote to support what, I, what my opening point is. Now, the T in the petal paragraph stands for technique, as I've mentioned, and this is basically means you need to mention the technical term within the quotation that you've selected. So, from girls of that class, I now need to mention a technical term. Now, I'm gonna read you through how the technical terms that I've mentioned in now my technique. The diminutive noun girls, diminutive means anything that makes something sound smaller or more little than it is, okay? So the diminutive noun girls, speech marks, in her declarative sentence, remember declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood, shows she saw working class women as inferior to her, okay? So she, of course, is Mrs. Burling, okay? So I'm gonna repeat my technique. The diminutive noun girls in her declarative sentence shows she saw working class women as inferior to her, okay? So now I'm talking about technique and why that's really important, what this shows us. Now, you then have to move on to the A in your petal paragraph, which means analysis. What this simply means is explain why your technique, the one that you've pointed out, is important and the reason effect, how it affects us as readers, in this case because it's a play, audience effect, okay? So reader, audience effect, basically how it affects us, all right? So I'm going to read through my analysis. 
Priestley's use of this noun, as well as the declarative sentence, reveals to, uh, uh, to us how m many uh, Edwardian upper class women were detached from the struggles working class women face, which shocks us as the audience, okay? So, what I'm basically saying is this noun and this declarative sentence, it shows how Edwardian women, women who lived in the Edwardian era during Mrs. Belling's time, they felt like they were totally separate as, a, you know, a class to working class women like Eva Smith, okay? So, I'm now going into analysis. I'm now explaining why I've used that technique and how it affects us. And of course, I then also mentioned that we as the audience are shocked. I can't believe Mrs. Belling said that, okay? That is your analysis. However, don't forget the L in your pencil paragraph, which is link. And this simply means link back to the question, okay? So I'm going to read through my link, where I'm linking back to the question and I'm linking back to the keywords within the question. Thus, Priestley shows the importance of social class played in exacerbating, which means exaggerating, creating further class divisions in the play. Moreover, Mrs. Burling is used to represent the callous, the harsh, the cruel, indifference upper class women felt towards working class women, okay? So I'm gonna repeat my link. Thus, Priestley shows the important social class played in exacerbating class divisions in the play. Moreover, Miss Burling, Mrs. Burling is used to represent the callous indifference upper class women felt towards working class women, okay? That's my link back to the question. As you can see, I've used the keywords importance and social class right here to show my teacher, my examiner that, hey, I know the assignment, I understand the assignment and I'm answering the question using the keywords it asked me to answer, okay? So let's quickly recap petal paragraph. P stands for point, answer the question directly. E stands for evidence, just quote directly from the text. T stands for technique, mention a technical term within your quote. A stands for analysis, which means explain why your technique is important and the reader effect. And finally, L stands for link back to the question. So that's really your petal paragraph. It's actually quite straightforward once you understand. Again, as I mentioned, this is just a working example from uh, an inspector calls. However, you can literally substitute this for, you know, a language extract or whatever, okay? Just use some of these keywords, especially the opening, okay? So, uh, X powerfully explores, this is evidence when, blah, 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 and just use that and apply. And of course, if you want to use this petal paragraph, just watch over this video once more, just to kind of see the different steps and then apply that in your own writing. So thanks so much for listening.